Welcome back to the D Struggles YouTube channel. All right, so for today's project, we are working on getting that bell housing off the tranny so we can swap out that, uh, what the hell is that thing called? The slave cylinder. And I also got the back plate of the engine off I took off. So yeah, I was hoping when I popped that back plate off, that whole uh, gasket would have came out, but I would say half of it stuck on the engine and the other half was stuck on the uh, cover, which I already got most of it off the cover, but I gotta clean that up. So what I'm gonna do is get that bell housing off that tranny and we're gonna parts wash the tranny and the back plate. And yeah, I'm gonna try to get this engine back together that tranny connected to it and get it all back on that cradle. Maybe not in that order, but something like that. All right, got that bell housing off. This way we can get the slave cylinder throw out bearing out. It's the only way to get it out is to take off the bell housing. Did I mention how much I hate parts washing? I really hate it, but the effort is worth the prize. That mofo is clean. She looks good. See, this is what it looked like. This is what it looked like before I cleaned it, pretty much. I'm actually gonna take the pressure washer to this bell housing. Sprayed some spray nine on it. Got a dust cover, transmission, and the bell housing all cleaned up. It's amazingly clean from the way it looked before. I got my rear main seal cover all cleaned up, gasket all cleaned off, I got the uh, O-ring out, I ended up taking this three inch piece of pipe and just moving it around and smacking it until I dislodged it. Now we gotta put the new one in. All right, seal's in. One thing I did find by heating up the gasket that stuck on the engine, um, it does make it a hell of a lot easier to scrape it off. I got that plate on there with the eBay rear main shaft seal. You gotta get that hoisted back up, then we gotta get that engine stand bracket back on the back of this engine, and uh, get the engine back on the engine stand. Yeah, this way we can put on the oil pan over here. Get this bad boy put on with the screen. Got it back on the stand. Well, well I had it off the stand, actually. Uh, weld it down here, strengthen this up, because this was kind of wobbly, because I have this, uh, slid out pretty much as far as it can go. It's pretty much sitting right here. And the bolt's like right there. Yeah, right there. So, yeah, strengthen that up. About to drop it down on the stand fully. Then we're gonna flip it over and get that oil pan on. Finally get the oil pan on. I got this engine flipped over. Just gonna take a look in here. Just to make sure we don't see anything that fell on there. Make sure everything looks clean. Before we seal it all up. All right, so I just gotta clean up the surface a little bit, and then we're gonna get that new eBay oil pan gasket on here. Oh yeah, got that oil pan on there. Looks good. So pretty much I just gotta put those motor mounts on, and then I can stick that engine back in that cradle. Then I can start working on the transmission, putting that um, input shaft bearing in. Hey, Precious. Meow. 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 She tried to meow. The next step is getting that engine stand bracket off. And then we gotta get the pilot bearing out for the transmission. So we're gonna take that grease tube right here and we're gonna pack that pilot bearing hole with grease and some bread. And then we're going to find something that fits perfectly in that pilot bearing hole. And we're going to hammer it out using the bread and the grease as um, hydraulic muck to push it out. We're going to do that to the line of pins on that block I got over there. Because I destroyed the ones that came out of this block. I got my new clutch kit I got off of eBay. That's the eBay listing with the price I paid. I got the six puck clutch, the pressure plate, came with the slave cylinder with throw out bearing attached, 
We've got the pilot bearing for new sheathing and O-ring for the hydraulic line that goes to the slave cylinder from the master cylinder. All right, so now I just gotta put all this together. Gotta get the bell housing, the slave cylinder back onto the transmission. And then I gotta get the clutch and the pressure plate back on the engine. My tranny's all ready to go. Got the bell housing back on along with that uh, slave cylinder. I did the, uh, the grease and bread trick on the other engine. I got the lineup pins out nice with no scoring on them because of the way we did it. And then I repacked, repacked the old bread grease mixture like so. And then just keep packing bread in there. Got it more than halfway out. That's it. Bread and grease, baby. And that's what it is right there. Your bread and grease pack. Looks like that. Packs in there. So the new pilot bearing seems to be made of, I guess, steel. And the old pilot bearing that I took out seems to be made of brass. It is a steel because the magnet sticks to it. But we're going to roll with it and see how it works out. Putting on the flywheel now. Got my new torque to yield bolts over here. I got from the factory. Um, now this flywheel does go on a certain way because it is balanced. Um, when I took it off, there was two little circles one offset and one more centered so you look at right there that one's more centered and that's the offset one so just in case those little circles got rubbed off i took a center punch and just put little dots on it this way i would know which one which side was offset and which side wasn't um i'm sure there's a way maybe in that manual i got that explains how this goes on there's actually I'm pretty sure a lineup dot I seen somewhere on here too yeah, on here there's a, a dot right there I'm really not sure if that's a lineup dot or not got me a wrench propped up on this side to hold the crank this way we can torque down flywheel bolts yeah, the book over here says uh, 100 and 32 inch pounds and then additional 50 degrees so that's what we're doing got the flywheel all torqued down now we're gonna put the clutch on oh yeah I gotta say um, maybe I'm knocking it till I try it but I don't particularly like this clutch I don't know why it's just the look of it we're gonna try it out and see what happens got it back under there I just got to get those uh, shocks spread out. Probably going to need somebody's help or two people's help. I want to inside of the shock pulling out or I'm lowering the body down. But we'll see. Unless I can figure a way out to do it myself, I will do it. Yes, yes, yes. It's finally back in. We got those lineup pins for the cradle lined up with the body. Finally. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about milestones got the fucking engine back in the car well let me get underneath this bad boy and get some bolts under there i gotta throw that uh transmission brace back across in the back check it out got her on the ramp stands got the jacks fully out from under her so i went to put the uh, exhaust manifolds i made on here but the hoisting brackets are in the way on both sides so I got to take that back one off and I got to take this front one off so my manifolds can slide up on here. But awesome. This is great. I can't fucking believe we finally got it back in the car so we can mock up these turbo flanges. Woo! Yeah, I felt like it was taking forever to get to this point, but I'm here. Hell yeah. All right. Till the next one.